Hello, good morning. Welcome to business. Now, an insurance consultant, Edgar Redo, is casting doubt on the assertion that recapitalization of the insurance industry would lead to improved penetration. According to him, the National Insurance Commission must do more thorough work on the finances of the various players in the sector before talking about recapitalization. He spoke to my colleague, Eben Sabote, on the sidelines of the Joy Business Financial Services Forum. And the law says clearly that it is when you have realized that the insurer is expanding or growing in this business, that is where you request for that recapitalization. And the recapitalization is not done as a fiat. It is done on what is known as risk-based. Now, in determining what risk-based is, you need to first of all go into the books of the company, see their assets risk see their policy holders, so yeah, their structures, see one or two other things, then with some arithmetic figures that are available, you come out and then say that because of X, Y, Z, you need to recapitalize to this level. And now, we also need to understand one thing. Recapitalization is not your strength as money that puts you in the position to pay claims. You must get it clear. If you want to see how strong a company is, you need to look at the company's reserves. Now, the Association of Bankers says the banking sector will not finance projects that endanger the climate. According to President Al Hassan Andani, the association is already engaging other entities to establish laws that will govern financing. He spoke to Joy Business at UNDP's Investment Forum, which is part of the Africa Climate Week celebrations. According to the Ministry for Environment, Science and Technology and Innovation, Ghana needs about $22.6 billion of investment from domestic and international public and private sources to finance its climate activities. On the back of this, the UNDP, as part of the Climate Week celebrations, engaged the Ministry of Environment, Science and Technology, Ministry for Planning and other stakeholders on how to woo investors for the climate change fight. Speaking to businesses at the event, President of the Association of Bankers, Al Hassan Andani, noted they are working on exploring investment into climate-friendly projects. Well, sustainable investment is broadening our investment selection criteria beyond just a profit motive to looking at broader socioeconomic and particularly climatic impact on the various uh, investment uh, pro projects that we put financing into. So we're working with various in agencies to come up with a set of sustainable banking principles that will govern the selection criteria based on the larger socioeconomic dynamics. So if you were an investor and you came to us to do something that is of significant climatic social and environmental impact, we we'll first of all we'll commission the right technical people to do the, what we call the impact analysis. If the impact analysis shows up risk that we think would be injurious to the community, would be injurious to the climate, beyond any remedial measures that you can take. We don't even get into the financing option. Minister for Planning, Professor Jan Bafo said, governments will also be given incentives to companies that employ environmentally friendly technologies. See, some of the investment that we are making already in uh, afforestation, some of them we are making in uh, one district, one factory, some of them we are making in... Um, in uh, 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 this galamsey fighting you know, preventing people from getting into the forests these are all part of this uh, climate change all right and that's all in business this morning